Hey, I'm Maddie. I'm currently living in my minivan on a quest throughout the United States for adventure and beer. Today, I want to tell you about my time in Vermont. Greetings from Vermont. I am so glad to be here. It's been absolutely beautiful today. And I found one of the most scenic places on the long trail. It's called Bromley Mountain and I'm super excited. They say there's a really good view at the top. So let's go. Eleven o'clock today, and it was actually more like twelve fifteen. But you know, that's how life goes sometimes. Also, big mistake was wearing leggings. I really should have worn shorts because I am sweaty. I took a break to cool down a little bit and look at my outfit. Who do I remind you of? I remind myself of Meredith from The Parent Trap. Nikki! Look at this beautiful moss palace I'm walking through. This must be near the top because all the trees are orange. And I've noticed that it's the top of the mountain that the trees change first. My theory is because they, those trees are used to getting the most sunlight. So when the position on the earth changes, they're the first to notice, so to speak. But that's just my guess. I'm no scientist. Summit point three miles. Who knows the wonders that'll await us. What's on top of the mountain? It's a UFO. Just kidding. It's a ski lift. Wow, so pretty. Now that is a view worth climbing for. Let's go see what's at the tip top. Look at all those trees. I love how in the fall they're different colors so you can pick out the individuals more. You know what's cool about being on top of a mountain? Is a lot of times you can see other mountains and you're like, wow, those are impressive. And then you're like, wait, I'm on top of something equally impressive. Cool. Bromley Mountain, where we are today, is part of both the AT and the Long Trail. Now, the Appalachian Trail, the AT, is over 2,000 miles and I hope to do it someday, maybe in a few years. And the Long Trail, I don't really know much about. I know it's long, I know it's a trail, and I know it goes um, from the top of Vermont to the bottom or vice versa, depending what direction you're going. But in all the stores, I have seen one beer that shares the name of it, and that is Long Trail Ale. Now, if you're from Vermont, you can probably speak to this, but it seems like that is the go-to beer around here. So of course I had to make it the official outdoorsy beer of Vermont. 
beneficial according to me. This is my contraption for keeping it cold. This is gonna be embarrassing. Dude, if I can't get this open, I'll die of sadness. Oh no, don't worry. Everything is okay. I got it. Oh, look. Inside of the cap, a taste of Vermont. Here's to you. That is so good. <laughs> I say that with every beer though. This specimen is the red clover, which is the state flower of Vermont. Fun fact. I've been hiking down for about an hour. Not much to report. Still very crunchy leaf type beautiful. I have to blow my nose but I didn't pack a tissue. Oh darn. I am at a bridge that I do not remember coming across. So I must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Big yikes. Oh wait, I did go across this. This was the one with the guy and I said, excuse me. I did go across this. I'm just kind of silly sometimes. I do love this trail, but I'm also kind of looking forward to getting back to my car because I need to put on shorts instead of leggings. I'm ready to release my legs from leg jail. And that's a wrap for that trail. Bromley Mountain, 10 out of 10. Oh, much better. Now you may be thinking, congrats on the shorts, but what's that on your leg? kind of grossing me out a little bit, Maddie. Well, let me tell you. When I was in Pennsylvania, I was like, oh, I'm starting to get these weird bug bites. When I was in New York, I was like, oh gosh, what if I have bed bugs? But yesterday here in Vermont, I finally went to the doctor and they said, their best guess is that it is topic dermatitis which is the same category as poison ivy is in, but I doubt I have poison ivy itself because I'm pretty good at identifying that, not to toot my own horn. It's mostly on my stomach and it is very disgusting, but I'm on my way to healing. driving to the north part of Vermont to meet up with some of my friends who are also traveling and just hang out with them for a little bit. It's been such a nice time up here by Stowe. The campfire was nice and peaceful last night and then got to wake up to a rainy morning. But before I head east today, there is one more thing I have to do. It's my job, it's my responsibility to you all to answer one last question that I posed at the end of my last video. Is there a difference between Vermont cheddar and normal white cheddar cheese? Let's find out. This is normal white cheddar cheese that I got at a grocery store in Pennsylvania. This is white cheddar cheese that I got here and the package specifically says Vermont Sharp White Cheddar Cheese. Time for some science. First, the normal cheddar cheese. It's tangy, it's creamy, I love it. <laughs> palate cleanser. And next we have our Vermont cheddar. What will it be? 
it's a little firmer maybe less creamy and more zesty sharp definitely less creamy and more solid so what's the verdict you ask there is a difference however it's not very noticeable case closed i'll see you in new hampshire